Over the last two decades, China has officially lost only four soldiers in a conflict, and that happened here in the middle of the icy Himalayas in hand to hand combat with Indian troops along the Indo China NAC. Reports citing US intel claim the Chinese death toll was as high as 35 and that the PLA leadership hit the casualty count, fearing backlash within China. While India fully acknowledged the death of its 20 soldiers and even accorded state funerals to its martyrs, the incident showed contrasting stances between the two countries, one honoring its soldiers for defending the motherland, the other shrouded in mystery. Geopolitical experts now warn that the Galwan Valley clashes were only a curtain raiser. Both sides are boosting their forces along the 4,000-kilometer-long Himalayan border and the threat of a second India-China war is very real between 2025 and 2030. Beijing recently warned India that deployment of additional troops along the border won't ease tensions. This after India mobilized 10,000 additional troops towards the LAC and the Indian Army is raising a new core with the sole aim of denting any Chinese antics. In 2020, the Chinese disregard for existing border agreements with India and occupation of some previously neutral territory sparked the skirmish. 20 rounds of border talks have failed to break the deadlock. Now, Indian side is getting more proactive, with the Defence Minister warning China that this time the PLA will find the Indian military even more prepared. China often attempts to use its massive military to bully smaller neighbours. PLA is arguably the second most powerful military in the world. However, Indian military leadership doesn't seem too unnerved. General Naravne was the chief of army staff during the 2020 clashes and he says China will have no asymmetry of power advantage in the Himalayan mountains, where the Indian army has got more operational experience. India has the largest standing army in the world with 1.2 million people and is not short of manpower. After the 2020 border clashes, Indian military airlifted 70,000 troops, over 400 infantry vehicles and tanks, along with artillery guns within days to the frontier, showing its readiness for a larger confrontation. The swift action prevented any further Chinese salami slicing tactics. Mountain warfare is unlike any other, where the enemy is often out of sight and progress is slow. Danger often awaits behind any boulder over any ridge, deep in crevasses and caves and lies waiting in the shadows. In mountain warfare, supply lines are more strained than exposed, and this gives India an edge. The LAC lies closer to Indian industrial and population hubs and is easier to support, compared to China, which has limited resources focused on the LAC with India far from its own capital. Xi Jinping has made it his life's ambition to, quote, reunify Taiwan, and a conflict with India would take Taiwan off the table, according to Indian military leadership. Still, geopolitical experts foresee a potential clash between India and China in the Himalayas, projecting a time frame between 2025 and 2030. China's recent 7.2% increase in defence spending in 2024, coupled with its aggressive stance on India and Taiwan, underscores its military ambitions. The removal of references to peaceful reunification with Taiwan in official statements signals a shift towards a more aggressive approach. Observers believe with every passing year, China would find it increasingly difficult to tame a stronger Taiwan both militarily and economically. Analysts speculate this could escalate tensions sooner rather than later. Ladakh is arguably equally important to China due to its energy security needs. Some data of RUSI draws attention to eastern Ladakh's significance in China's energy security strategy. Data suggests that China's interest in the region stems from its role in facilitating the China-Pakistan economic corridor and securing vital energy routes. In case of a war, the Indian Army is tactically in a position to cut off the CPEC in Western China or even POK, which is Indian territory under Pakistani occupation. General Naravne corroborates this, highlighting the region's importance in China's long-term plans. General Naravne asserts that India's response to the 2020 clash demonstrated its resolve and military capability, challenging the perception of Indian weakness that has lingered in China since the 1962 war. Meanwhile, both Indian and Chinese forces have increased their presence along the NSE and have fortified their positions. General Naravne also emphasizes India's readiness and surveillance capabilities, thus deterring any surprise attacks from China. Sana Hashmi, a scholar and policy expert, highlights China's economic challenges amidst its territorial ambitions. With concerns over a Chinese economic slowdown and declining foreign investment, Hashmi suggests that engaging in a war could heighten China's economic woes. China faces a tough balancing act between its expansionist ambitions with economic stability. China's Communist Party has set ambitious goals for national rejuvenation by 2049. 
including territorial expansion and revising the international order. Experts argue that the dream of achieving such objectives may require aggressive actions, potentially leading to conflicts in various regions, including the Indo-Pacific and the Chile Himalayan frontier along the border with India. Have your say. Do you believe the Chinese expansionist ambitions will lead to a conflict with India between 2025 and 2030? Leave a comment below and if you like this news report then remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.